Well, we are very excited this morning because you know what? Before you know it, the Variety Kids Telethon will be here, and you know what a wonderful history that has had here at our station. We always meet the most incredible families, and this year is no exception. We have with us this morning the 2018 Celebrity Child. It's Jackson Bouye, who's here with his parents, Jen and Bob. And we've gotten to meet Jackson through the course of the morning. Everybody here on Channel 7, yeah. <laughs> and you are going to love him. And I am telling you, what Jackson has already accomplished uh, is, is just a wonderful, wonderful story. So you folks have been presented with yeah. challenges for Jackson since he was born at only six months, right, Jen? That's right. Yeah. Jackson was born at 24 weeks and just one day. Oh. <laughs> and as Jackson, I know, has two other brothers. So Jackson, are you the oldest, or where, where do you fit there? Jackson's the youngest You're of the three youngest, boys. You're the youngest, so you yep. have two older brothers. Oh my yeah. goodness. Had you had any issues with your other two pregnancies? So this was a complete surprise all. for you. Yes. <laughs> wow. And you know, I was just looking at all the things that Jackson has overcome already. What a remarkable story for him and our wonderful hospital and professionals <laughs> that care so much about kids like Jackson. Um, Jackson was told, with all the things that had happened, he had had brain bleeds. It was unrealistic for Jackson to think that he could walk or talk. And boy, let me tell you, he's exceeding those, <laughs> those expectations all the time. And yet, he's, he's doing just fine, correct? He is. Yeah. He's almost a typical child. Yeah, he's been terrific. Bob, what has this been like for you and, and, and for Jackson's brothers? Well, I think the, the first thing that we learned is life changes in a hurry. Mm -hmm. and. You know, you get hurdles thrown at you and you have to just figure it out. And I don't think as a family we could have a better teacher than, than Jackson because mm -hmm. every time there's a hurdle or something wrong, he finds a way to accomplish his goals and typically exceeds them. It's, it's been pretty amazing. And one of the other things that we've learned is it can bring your family closer together because he has two older brothers who are 12 and 15 and without them pushing him, treating him just like a little brother, like everybody else mm -hmm. has, he wouldn't be the great kid that he is today. He's been pushed really hard by everybody that's been involved in his life. And without all of those people, he wouldn't be where he is today. Yeah. So we're, we're pretty thankful. We're very lucky parents. He's your tiny mighty. That's right. That's, that's been the nickname, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But let me tell you, um, Jackson, you, you've had quite a few things that you've overcome. Again, you had those, uh, you were born at 24 weeks, so you had a four month stay in the NICU. Four months, you were like family to those folks. Yes. <laughs> and obviously they took really good care of Jackson. They did. We met some amazing nurses, doctors, therapists. The, the group of people, the family that you end up surrounding yourself with from Oshai and from mm -hmm. the hospital is unbelievable and those people stay with you. We've had many of the same doctors and therapists since Jackson was two months old. Really? And mm -hmm. They just continue to work and he continues to work and amazing things are happening. Jackson, I see this picture of you swimming. Do you like to swim? Right there. See it? Look at that. Pretty good, huh? Jackson's fortunate enough to receive aquatic therapy yeah. um, at the pool, and that's one of his favorite things because he works so hard, so it's nice when he has the therapies that are fun for him, and, too. And look at that. You don't remember that when you were a little tiny baby, huh? Can you show that picture to the camera? Turn it the other way so Aaron can see it, our wonderful director. Just flip it around. There we go. There we go. Hold it still. And Jackson has been diagnosed uh, by, with cerebral palsy, but again, he's really come up a lot farther than what you thought might be the outcome when he was first born. He had so many challenges. Absolutely. He's really come a long way. He was fortunate enough to also have a dorsal rhizotomy surgery, mm -hmm. which in initially really was a huge setback for him, but it's opened some doors um, with some work that hopefully he'll be able to walk independently. Yeah, it seems like every time he made a milestone, you had to watch something happen when you try. They, they had to give him artificial food, and then when they did finally try to feed him, I understand his intestines couldn't tolerate and he ended up with a colostomy. Yep. He's had a lot of challenges for a little one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah he's, he's been through a lot. I mean, one of, the, one of the reasons that he got the nickname Tiny Mighty was his <laughs> first Halloween. He dressed up as a boxer because, <laughs> you know, he's, he's been fighting things his entire life. And we're, we're lucky he is who he is because 
it's what he just sees as every day. Right. He, he fights hard. He wants the best for himself every single day. And <laughs> Bless you. He, he earns it, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, so are you looking forward to this, this big event coming up, this wonderful telethon where you're gonna see all your doctors and nurses again and a lot of the other kids that have been helped? It's been a lot of fun yeah. just preparing for the telethon and we're looking forward to the opportunity to sort of, um, well, raise awareness and find a special, unique way to give back yeah. a little bit of what we've benefited from. You know, it, it, and that's what we like to do. This hosp these hospitals, really, and these professionals have, they dedicated their life to the kids, you know, and, and it's just, we're so lucky to have this here in Buffalo yeah. when we do need it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. I mean, one of the, the greatest things, too, is, I mean, we've only been a part of a variety like this for a short time, but the number of people in this community that are so involved and so dedicated to what goes on with these children there are there are more children than any of us know yeah. that need these services right. and variety does an amazing job of providing opportunities for the kids jackson we talked earlier about what you want to do when you grow up you want to do a lot of things huh yeah. Yeah, tell me again, all the things that you do. Now, of course, being a director is one of them, by the way. <laughs> but tell me about the other things. A fighter fighter. Yeah. A dentist. Mm hmm A doctor. Yeah. Fighter fighter. Yeah, firefighter. I think you can do it all, huh? We said if you do one of those things Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday, you can get it all in, right? Yeah. We're going to have fun at the telethon? Are we going to have a good time? Yep. Yep, we are. We are. <laughs> You're not. Oh, well, yes, I am. I'm the queen of fun. Let me tell you. It's going to be a good time. In fact, I am going to MC the luncheon at Chef's, so we're going to get to sit next to each other. Is that okay? That'll be fun. Jackson Bouillet and his wonderful family. Again, our celebrity family this year, but really it just puts a face on our telethon, which helps so many kids. We're so looking forward to the Variety Kids telethon this year. It's going to be a very, very special event. And when we get to help kids like Jackson, it's what it's all about. Okay, everybody? We want to thank you in advance for everybody being so generous and making sure we reach our goals for that. And we cannot wait uh, to have it here. It won't be long. Hey, thanks, everybody. We're out of time. You have a great day out there, and we'll see you back here tomorrow on AM Buffalo. Bye-bye.